How is it going, everybody? Before this video ends up starting, you know, I just want to quickly give some, uh, I want to quickly give a shout out to Cynical Tim over here. He definitely, with this one comment right here, definitely, you know, kind of, uh, made me feel a little bit better about, you know, making all this, you know, all these videos. Because, you know, he's definitely giving me, you know, a lot of confidence, and that's really nice. And I'm very glad that there's someone out there, you know, that's actually willing to, you know, give confidence out to another content creator. So I'm very glad. So yeah, before this video starts, you know, go ahead and subscribe to this guy, right here, right here. I'll put his channel in the description, so, you know, yeah. Um, that's it. Alright, time to start the good old-fashioned video. How's it going, everybody? Red Sun over Nightmares here, and today we're going to be taking a look at it. Yet another, just... Oh boy, here we go. Today we're going to be taking a look at a YouTube channel, well... More specifically, a video on a YouTube channel that is going to attempt to disprove the idea and the theory of evolution. So that's going to be a whole lot of fun. I can already see this going well. So yeah, let's jump right into this video called I Am Not Related to My Breakfast. So yeah, let's jump right into this. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of our Preaching to the Choir Ministries. Okay, first of all, what in the actual living hell is- where is he recording this from? Like, is he literally recording this from his basement? I think he's recording this from his mother's basement. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this guy is literally recording from his mother's basement. Definitely explains the camera quality, though. I mean, good lord. That camera quality, like, this one still right here, it, it makes him look like a freaking demon, I swear. And today, I want to talk about macroevolution again, because it's so funny to talk about. Oh my goodness! Someone who's most likely never passed high school, let alone friggin' middle school, is gonna try and disprove evolution. I can't wait. You know, the people that believe in macroevolution believe that you are uneducated and believe that you need to go to school. And they believe that you are like one of the dumbest people in society if you don't believe that you're related to a banana. Um, first of all, let me just get started with the first, um, point that he made before we start jumping into 88 miles per hour over here. First of all, no. Scientists don't say that just because you don't believe in macroevolution, um, it means that, oh, you're uneducated and you need to go to school and you need to go and hang yourself. No, that is not exactly what that means whatsoever. Like, good lord, you're jumping to conclusions before, you know, I can even try and commentate over them. Like, for, like, that's not a, what scientists say whatsoever. They're just simply saying that you're ignorant and you probably just simply need to try and, you know, kind of Look this stuff up before you start jumping into conclusions, such as that we are not related to bananas. Okay. Let me just quickly uh, look this up. Um, okay. Are we related to plants? Oh. Okay, so we share 50% genetic information with plants. Alright. Okay. Well, just because we share 50% of our DNA information doesn't mean that we're, you know, related. Alright, I'm gonna stop talking and let this guy, you know, finish his little explanation here. That you don't share a common ancestor with an orange. That you don't share a common ancestor with peanuts and orangutans and walnuts and dates. Okay, I gotta give some props where it's due. At least he came prepared for this video and he didn't have to, like, you know, make several jump cuts and, you know, try and run all the way back to the fridge to get himself a banana, an orange, and a freaking packet of peanuts. Alright. Look, just because we share DNA with, you know, peanuts, oranges, bananas, and of course pretty much every single, possibly almost every single other plant in existence, doesn't mean that we share a common ancestor with them. Us and plants diverged, like, long, long time ago. Like, freaking before, like, land animals, you know, um, you know, started roaming the entire earth. Like, that would, we diverged from plants a long freaking time ago. So, for you to say something like, Oh, we are related somehow to plants. Look, we just simply share DNA with them. That doesn't mean we are seriously related to them. Now, we share only half of our DNA, whereas with orangutans and whatnot, or, you know, chimpanzees or something like that, we share a lot more DNA information with them, which leads us to conclude that, hey, these guys must be some sort of common ancestor that diverged from us and evolved separately. So they are, in fact, somewhat of a common ancestor to us, but they diverge from us to evolve, you know, differently because of the environments that, you know, they kind of roamed into, you know. And all, 
they believe that if you are educated, you are as smart as them and have light like them. Good lord, this grammar. I know it's a low blow to make fun of someone's grammar, but you was? You, my goodness. Oh, I'm going into full grammar Nazi already. Alright. Uh, let's continue on here. Really? There's a problem with that? Let me explain the problem with your little hypothesis of some sort of intelligent design. First of all, intelligent design my ass. We literally have a ticking time bomb next, pretty much like towards the end of our freaking large intestine. So, I highly doubt that that's even intelligent. If your god really just wanted to make us, you know, as perfect as humanly possible. He wouldn't put a freaking like, you know, thing that could possibly burst and kill us with freaking like, deadly poison that's inside of our bodies at this point. Like, that would not even exist. Second of all, birth defects. Like, that doesn't make any sense. It makes a lot more sense for evolution to occur because it kind of explains, you know, why we have an appendix, why we have all of these, you know, things that we don't really need anymore, like our tailbone. We don't really need a tailbone anymore. Um, because, you know, we're pretty balanced by ourselves. We don't really need a tailbone to begin with. We don't need an appendix to live. Hell, there are a few other organs inside of our bodies that if we just simply removed, we would be perfectly fine without them. Now, of course, you know, that's for, like, smaller organs. Maybe for, like, the gallbladder and whatnot. Like, it, there's really kind of no point to it other than, you know, kind of occasionally making a freaking gallstone and screwing things up. Like, that's about it. And, of course, again, the appendix, the literal ticking time bomb that's inside of our bodies at this point. So, you know... It's not really safe to say that we were intelligently created, sir. See, bananas are always gonna produce bananas according to you, in other words. Peanuts are always gonna produce peanuts. And oranges are always gonna produce oranges. Okay, here's my problem with this little explanation. There's no way with that we can quite literally prove that, hey, this is what's gonna happen and it's gonna continue going like that. That's what you say. Science pretty much says that, you know, it is what it is now, but it could change. Like, you know, bananas, oranges, and peanuts, they may end up, you know, like, there could be, like, a specific area that they end up starting to grow in, and they, you know, turn out differently, and we end up discovering this different kind of thing, and, you know, we take a look at this and go, like, hey, this is similar to an orange. So, you know, maybe we could do something with this, you know, since it's similar to an orange... But, you know, not quite an orange. What the hell are we going to call it? But, you know, I mean, I'm just simply kind of talking out of my ass with this guy, I guess. But then they want to try to tell you... Then they want to try to tell you that a fish-like creature is going to become something that's not a fish-like creature. Oh, oh. They got in trouble on some debates. They can't hold them, so they, got to, they can't say that no more. Now what they got to say is, you never really stop being a fish-like creature. Are you absolutely sure about that? Alright, so first of all with the whole fish-like creature thing. Okay, so for the whole fish-like creature thing, um, your little appeal to authority fallacy they decided to pull up here makes literally no sense. They didn't get in trouble at all and they still continue to say that we came from some sort of, you know, fish type of organism or some sort of, you know, water-dwelling organism. Then it started to grow legs, then of course the atmosphere started getting, you know, to somewhat, you know, uh, better levels, so that way, you know, we wouldn't be burned up by the sun, and we wouldn't be breathing in, like, deadly toxins into our lungs, and, you know, we just started kind of climbing up there. The first, you know, creatures were probably more like, you know, kind of like lizards and whatnot, or something similar to that. And then, of course, you know, started diverging and whatnot, kind of evolved into other things, age of the dinosaurs and whatnot. Mammals started appearing after they became extinct. Well, they existed be sometime before then, but, you know, they just started migrating all over the place, and we have all these different, you know, mammals today. So, you know, that's my best explanation as to what happened. So, you know, just a little bit of education for this guy right here. And these educated people, people that think that you're stupid. No, we do not think that you're stupid. We think that you're being, you know, you know, clearly just absolutely ignorant to the entire subject and not deciding to look into this whatsoever. And, you know, not deciding to do any kind of research because, you know, you you constantly have, you know, your nose into that ancient book and you also have the ancient book shoved inside of your asshole, so, you know. That you, and a fish that you see in the water, 
a relative. <laughs> What? You really think that that's what they're trying to say? That's not exactly what they're trying to say. They're saying that we came from fish-type creatures, but we're not at all related to them. We're completely and totally different. Different genus, different, like, you know, species and whatnot. They are, like, entirely different. They're, like, closer to reptiles or whatever you want to call fish. We are mammals. We diverged from fish a long time ago. We're in no way related. Sure, we may, may you know share some, you know, DNA, you know, with these fish, but it's not enough to actually tie us to them as them being, like, you know, a common ancestor, so. Yeah. Again, bit of education, buddy. Eh? No, you're gonna be aren't, aren't Susan swimming around that way. You know, your great, 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 you know, you know uh, uh, swimming upstream, <laughs> you know, you know to, to, to eventually, eventually get eaten by polar bears. bears. You know what I mean? And, and no, I don't know what you mean, because what you're trying to say right here is absolute nonsense. It's complete and total stupidity, what you're trying to say right now. Like, good lord. All this education. <laughs> These days. They call this education, and you're scoffing at this. Let me just quickly let you know, what you're trying to describe right here is complete and total nonsense, and it's in no way, like, you know, education, or, you know, what you would like to call education. Just because of the fact that they're saying that, hey, we came from fish-like creatures, but, you know, fish, you know, diverge from us, and we may share a bit of DNA, but not enough to call them a common ancestor. That's, you know, what you're trying to say is, is that these teachers are saying, you are related to fish, so you must be a fish. Like, that makes literally no sense. Like, good lord, sir. Like, do some research. Actually go to school for once in your entire life. Like, good frickin' lord. You know what I mean? This is what the Christian has to deal with these days. That you gotta believe that this is a relative of yours in order to be considered educated in this country. No. In fact, you're just simply proving the fact that, you know, you're not educated whatsoever because... That is literally not even what we're trying to say. We share DNA with oranges, but we do not, but we are not, they are not common ancestors to us. Y you understand that? Do you, do you understand this, Brainlet? Do you understand this? Hopefully you do, because I'm not going to explain this again. Well, maybe I do have to explain it again, so never mind about that. Please ignore that previous remark. Every other Every brother, other brother or, sister or sister in Christ, Christ uh, out, out there, there that, that speaks against, against this, this ridiculous, ridiculous idea of evolution. Ah, uh, yes, all those people that pretty much have the same amount of brain cells inside of their heads as you, you know, like around three, or maybe somewhere in the negatives, yeah, you know. All praise the brainlets, all praise the ones with underdeveloped brains and possible brain injuries when they were children. And I'm not talking about regular brain injuries like an adult dropped them. I'm talking about dropped off the top of Mount Everest and then hit by a plane on the way down. Just, just talking to one of my nieces today. And, um, <laughs> really funny. They were telling me how in school their teachers tried to tell, uh, tried to tell them that they evolved from apes. And all they did was giggle and laugh about it. And the teacher asked them why they were giggling and laughing because they didn't believe it. I mean, don't get me wrong, when, 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 when the time came to get his test, they, they simply put what the teacher told them to put them in, and I would expect them to do that. Oh, really? So you're basically teaching your children to be scientifically illiterate. Oh boy, this guy is dumber than dirt. Good frickin' lord, this is... Oh, this is only mildly infuriating. We're only hitting like 87 miles per hour. Like, we slowed down a little bit, but then we hit 88 miles per hour when he basically just admitted to the fact that, hey, I'm basically teaching my children to act like idiots. Like, really? And I'm surprised that you would expect them to actually put down what the teacher would expect them to put down instead of saying, okay, um, don't put down what the teacher says. Instead, say that every single answer is freaking Jesus. <laughs> oh... <laughs> Lord of mercy, wow. But they don't believe any of that garbage. There's a lot of children in this area that don't believe in that garbage. I would like to see some of them. Can I see a few of them? No? Oh, right, you don't have any evidence. Oh, man. Why am I not surprised that you do not have any evidence? They don't believe that he's one of the relatives. You know what I should do one day? You know how I go out there and confront the Hebrew boy? I just stop every child out there and ask them, do they believe?
when I say child, I mean obviously I'm not stop talking about a level like 12, 13, or whatever. And I completely believe that they're related to a banana. But anyway. <laughs> Okay, now we've hit beyond 88 miles per hour. We are going into the frickin' matrix at this point with stupidity. Good lord. So you're gonna go out there and start stopping random children going like, Hey, I'm gonna start asking you if you're related to a fruit. Like, really? Are you kidding me? Like, I swear to Christ, if I ever have any kind of children, if you ended up coming across them and started going up to them with a freaking banana, I would happily kick you right in the shin and then kick you right in the head, causing more brain damage than that's already caused to you. And I would happily go to jail for that because you don't just go up to random kids and go like, Hey, do you think that you're related to a banana? Like, that's not a thing that you do. Yeah, stop that evolution evolution evolution. And make sure and I got it on camera, camera with the little thing. You be surprised how many people are embarrassed and ashamed to basically garbage like that. I am not embarrassed and ashamed to say that we do in fact share fifty percent of our genetic material with plants. And of course by extension bananas. Just simply go to school like once. Like for one day, go into a biology class that's teaching, you know, standard genetics. That would be, like, a freaking miracle if... I'm pretty sure, you know, people like him, if they ever stepped foot inside of a school, they would just be, like, burning alive. They would be like, Ah, no thing, no education, ah. Oh. No, you're utterly ridiculous for saying something like that, just because the fa they are in fact common ancestors and they diverge from us to evolve differently. What part of that do you not understand? Probably a lot, because the fact that, you know, mm, probably didn't pass high school, you know, just simply putting that out there, just simply, you know, saying something very, you know, probably kind of obvious at this point. I'm not trying to make fun of this guy, I'm just simply speaking the freaking obvious, the painfully obvious. No, they're probably getting angry at you because of the fact that you're essentially going like, Hey, evolution is false! And those kinds of Christians are actually the ones that most likely passed high school and got a college education unlike you. I'm a Christian. Obviously, I believe that God created me. And I'm made, and I'm fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. I didn't <laughs> I'm surprised that Christians can read that part of the Bible and not go like, huh, I guess God must be really fucked up. <laughs> Balls from an ape. Do you really think that apes just, like, shit humans out? Like, it's not how that works. I'm just being honest right now, that's not how that works at all. It's either Jesus is Lord, or science is Lord. And I believe that Jesus is Lord. Ah, false dichotomy. Bloody hell. How... Uh, how many fallacies are in this one? Oh, so far only two? Oh, okay. Oh, and his brain. Okay, that's three. Three freaking fallacies, all in one. Look, no one, no one singular person would say that, Oh, science is lord. Like, no one would ever say that. They would say that, you know, they believe that, you know, science explains things a bit better than, you know, religion and whatnot. But they would never, in their right mind, say that, Oh, praise science! Oh, praise the almighty science! Um, that would probably never happen because you're putting such impossible standards on all of this. So, of course, no one will be able to prove you wrong. Well, except for literal common knowledge spread around by scientists worldwide. Though you decide to plug your ears, you know, whenever you decide to enter a school because, you know, you don't want that all, all that learning to actually expand your brain, do you? It's not difficult. You're going to sit there and say that it's italic fish. Uh, over a long period of time, like evolved into all these different animals or whatever, right? Then you gotta be able to show me these transitions are fossils. Well, we can. They're called standard fossils. That there are images on Google that you can literally look up yourself. Like it's that simple. Like use a computer for something else other than looking up religious texts and using YouTube to spread your nonsense. Like, good lord, do a Google search like once in your life. Each bay. 
Yes, we do have it. It's just the fact that you've never decided to step foot inside of a museum or into a high school classroom or even a college classroom. We've never done a single Google search once in your entire life about how evolution works. So, of course, there's no evidence in your eyes because, you know, you're just going to be like, um, man, if I do this Google search, um, man, that's going to just prove all my ideas. Um, better avoid that. Um, better not show any kind of evidence. Let me just simply make this video right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Those, Those so-called so fossils, fossils that they were showing me were either, were either the bones, the bones of, of, of other, other human, human beings, beings with different head features, or, or they were they the were fossils, fossils of other monkeys, monkeys or whatever. Or whatever. So, basically what you're trying to say is, is that, oh, I don't know how human evolution works whatsoever, and I honestly think that they just took a human skeleton and put it up into a museum. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? First of all, Yes, it is in fact true that they look like human skeletons with different head features, but those different head features play a key role in how we fucking work today. And of course, you know, these fossils of other apes and whatnot, well, again, proof of frickin' evolution. I mean, if you take a look at the skeletons of, like, those other ape-like creatures that you're, you know, trying to reference to, you would see that they might look similar to some of the apes today, but not so similar that they look exactly like them, so, you know. No, you're ridiculous for spreading this nonsense. So, my, my message out there for people out there that, that think Ken Hoven is somehow going to lose support for Christians, and uh, people out there that believe that, um, you know, I'm going to stop listening to, uh, like, 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 like all the Christian leaders, and believe it or not, there's secular leaders out there that don't even believe in evolution. You'd be surprised. You got neo-evolutionists over here, and you got Darwinian evolutionists over here, and they can't even agree on what the common ancestor is. They tell you what they think it is, and what they think that is, and what they hope it is, and what they pray for that it is, but they don't really know what it is. First of all, I'd like to see some of these quote-unquote secular leaders that don't believe that evolution is actually a thing. I'd like to see some of that evidence, by, but of course you won't show it, because, you know, that would disprove your point, wouldn't it? And second of all, if they're praying, they're most likely religious, like, good lord, like, are you trying to say that, you know, like, what you're essentially saying is that scientists are not Christian, yet you're saying that, you know, they're hoping and praying for what they believe that the common ancestor is. Like, you're basically saying that they are religious in some way. Science is not a frickin' religion, you imbecile. And third of all, there are multiple common ancestors. But if you're talking about, like, the first organism that we most likely kind of came from, there are a numerous, like, several different, you know, things that we could possibly say that could be, you know, the first living organism. Like, one of the most popular hypotheses for, like, the first living organism is, like, bacteria and whatnot. So, you know, just simply saying. Quite embarrassing with you, actually. Um, I, I actually have on GTV right now. You can go to my channel right now on GTV. And the very first video I show you in this uh, Google Hangout that I'll do regarding macroevolution is a scientist admitting that he doesn't know nor does he understand what macroevolution is. What you can do with his field field and what he does go with it. He understands uh, variations within the times, but he doesn't understand macroevolution. I'd like to see some proof as well. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, that video is quite literally him going like, Hey, buddy, can you act like you're a scientist, but, you know, just simply say that you know what variation between, like, you know, the different types of organisms is, but you don't understand evolution? Just that way I can try and trick these people later on on my second channel. Oh, <laughs> yes, we're gonna be ruling in fans. <laughs> like, I'd like to see an actual scientist that goes like, No, evolution is complete and total nonsense. Like, I've yet to meet a single scientist or science teacher that says, No, nah, evolution's nonsense. Good lord, you looked like you looked like you were transcending in, into like a freaking demon right there. <laughs> like, good lord, what in the actual what was that? All right, so let me just simply put it this way: that is really not how it works, G-Man. Also, why is your name G-Man? Like, good freaking lord, <laughs> G-Man. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh man, I can make so many jokes right now with, you know, this whole G-Man thing, but I, I'm gonna try not to.
Ah, screw it. I'm gonna put on a freaking picture of, like, a retarded G-Man or something like that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I don't even have a biological degree, and I can quite literally say that, hey, this guy's freaking false. Don't believe anything that this guy says, because it's complete nonsense. There are no denominations regarding evolution. Like, that just makes no sense to me. If you agree on what the common ancestors, one of you guys will say that it was reality, another one will say that What in the world is going on in the background of that? It was someone starting up their car? <laughs> Like, there's something going on in the background, like, there was, like, vroom, like, what was that? So that's what you were trying to say about common ancestor. Look, the most popular, you know, thing of, like, the first organism was, again, most likely single-celled organisms or something similar to that of bacteria. Like, you know, prokaryotic stuff and whatnot. So, you know, I mean, you know, it makes a whole lot of sense. Also, this one still right here, good freaking lord. <laughs> oh my god. It looks so terrifying. <laughs> like, please, no, stop. <laughs> looks like it's devouring my soul. Thank you know whether you're educated guess or you're or you believe, believe, but you don't have any answer to guess. guess. Not, Not to mention, mention I, think I think just about all of us know now that the scientific method just disproves macroevolution because you can't test it and repeat it over and over and over again. Well, no, we can't, like, physically test it, but, you know, there are other ways that we can figure something out, like, the scientific method doesn't really disprove evolution just because of the fact that we can't physically see, you know, evolution, but the thing is, is that there are several different other types of evolution than just simply, like, macro and micro, uh, macro evolution and whatnot, you know, all that kind of crazy stuff. I was about to say micro evolution, but I think he's about to get to that, isn't he? Please don't come with the fruit fly, it's the funniest joke going on in the internet today. Joke? What kind of joke? Obviously you would think it's a joke. Flu fruit flies would not be the first living organism, so of course people would start laughing at that, because that makes literally no sense. Ah, you can't take that back! You can't take that back, you just said that you believed in macroevolution! Oh my goodness, he believes in macroevolution, guys! We finally converted him! My goodness! Man, this, this is like breaking freaking news over here! Let's do this! Come on! That makes literally no sense at all. Like, we're not claiming that bananas are distant relatives to us. Like, that's just, that's just nonsense. In, like, the worst kind. <laughs> Oh, we don't show a shred of evidence to prove it! Hmm... Do you guys want to hear the juiciest bit of hypocrisy? Uh... I don't like where this is going. Uh, please don't. We do not want to see that. This is this is not family friendly. This is not advertiser friendly at all. Please, please stop. Please stop where you are right now. That's even worse. That's not any better. That doesn't mean that it should, you know, be shoved directly up your ass along with your Bible, like. Please don't. Just stop. Please just stop where you are, because that is just no. That's just freaking nasty. Pretty sure I'll produce an orange one day, right? Give it enough time. I mean, we don't need trillions of years. Maybe we can give them a hundred trillion years or whatever. Phrasing, phrasing, G-Man. A hundred trillion years is still trillions of years, you imbecile. A gazillion years, and maybe one day us human beings will produce an orange. Who knows? Or something better than an orange. Something more tasty. There's no way that a human could possibly produce a frickin' fruit. Like, I don't know what school he went to. He probably went to the nut house for school. I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. Not to mention, if I was really related to this, I, I would be guilty of cannibalism according to scripture.
Oh god, there's that banana again. I think this is a good time to actually stop this, because I do not like how this video is actually going to end. Oh my goodness, but let's just watch the end to see what happens. Ah, yes, everybody, go out and beat your children! But anyways, if you guys enjoyed today, but the, yeah, blah, blah, blah. anyways, that's the end of today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. That is very well appreciated. Everyone that leaves a like will get their very own magic sandwich that will pretty much grant them any wish humanly possible. There's, there's obviously, like, infinite wishes with it, so you can literally wish for anything that you want, like, whatever you want. But, yeah, in all seriousness, guys, please consider leaving a like. That's very well appreciated. I'm very glad, you know, very glad that, you know, I've, you know, reached to where I am right now. I'm very glad, and I'm glad that I'm finally getting, you know, at least in, you know, I can definitely say that I'm getting better as, you know, uh, somewhat of a content creator. But, yeah, anyways, um, I'll see you guys in the next video, so peace out. See ya.